Hey everyone, Ben Hart here, and um, I'm working on a soundtrack. And uh, the song is Come to the Water, and it's an old kind of country gospel tune. Um, so kind of, it's it's going to be like phrase like old country. So what we're going to do is talk about kind of from the beginning to the end. I kind of already made the track, but I'm going to walk you through what I did, what I was thinking about real quick. So first off, I made a number chart. So like, I don't know if you can see that, or maybe I need to flash that up. Let me get that real close to you. Yeah, there we go. So it may look like Chinese to some of you. Um, that's why I get a lot of people. Everybody does the, uh, when I post a picture of it that has not seen something like this before, they all say, oh, it looks like algebra or whatever. That's the, the joke. Um, a hundred percent and I'll laugh with you every time I guess and um, so basically um, let's just take the what I did in the intro and, and stuff but I went through and did the whole thing so like we're in the key of E flat uh, the, I've got the BPM set to 122 it's a 4-4 four, four time song so the intro is it says 1-5 uh, underline 1-4 and then 1-5-6 minor five over seven and it's underlined so when it's underlined it's sharing a measure and um sometimes i put little dots if there's not perfectly four or it's not split down in the center so this I don't, I don't need any little strikes to tell you what a quarter note is so it's one two three four now five chord one two three four one two three four one five six five over seven i can't do that with my hands all right so here's what it sounds like i've got this mic on and i'm just kind of low budget recording the speakers here maybe I'll, I'll put good audio to the intro um you know here here we go Yeah, first verse has got like country piano licks. I love doing those, by the way. Um, the first uh, intro is some Telecaster things. So let's talk about this. So the intro is ba da 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 five two one four one five six minor five or seven. And it's just a little white bom 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 bom. So real common, just uh, normal moves. All right. So the first thing I did was I kind of I played to a metronome um, and laid down the piano, and I just stated the chords. I did one pass, you know, and I did like a drum loop. I created like a a drum thing. So like um, how I do that is let me highlight my drums, and I attach them to keyboard. Um, if you're not seeing my videos, you know this is the C is a kick drum, and then a snare. So this is one. So close hi hat. One, two, three, four. One two, is one, two, one, two, three, four, like this. And I played a little bit more cut. Hopefully, I play it better than that. And there, and then I went back and added the licks and stuff later on. Um, it kind of opens up with the riff. But I play to that to kind of for some feel. Um, it kind of helps me sometimes. Um, and then I just laid a piano pass where I diamond the chord. So like. It's E flat, so it goes da 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 one two E flat two E flat A flat, and then I just play kind of like the um, the one and the third of each um, five six one and I do a little. All right, then you're into the song. So I'm either playing rhythm like this. I'm just diamonding the chords. And that I think I just did because I did some legs. And maybe we'll talk about that here in a second. But um, so I went through and I did a whole pass on that just to give me some feel. And I didn't really know what I was going to do so far. And that, that's not always the case. Uh, sometimes I got something specific I want to do. But old country sounding things. Um, I talked with the my, one of my favorite uh producers and piano players ever jason webb in nashville and uh, he brought the light to me which i knew it but i just never thought about it how um old country 
you know, there was an era before the 90s, really, to where it was just like, it was all just improv over chord changes completely, which is kind of what we do now, but it was like, there wasn't as much hooks and band leaks and stuff. It was more just like, hey, you take half this, and then you take that. Hey, the piano gets the fills, this one, not this one, on the second verse, and it's just kind of one instrument at a time. So I was kind of approaching it like that, um, you know, to give it that kind of feel. This person said they wanted it to sound kind of like a updated version of the uh, the Henson's family, the gospel group, the country gospel group for sure. Southern style, Southern gospel, um, which basically gets, you know, country gospel as well. You know, I, I say that so that because there's so many styles within Southern gospels. So for those of you that say, oh, I, you know, it's, it's, it's not stylistically diverse. Um, you're actually crazy, I think. It's, I made a whole video on it. It's one of the most diverse. You can not like it, that's your opinion, but like it has so many styles from classical to jazz to country and stuff. So I kind of said this is country gospel, but it's definitely a Southern gospel tune as well. Because that lives in that as of right now, and this time we're making this in 2024. Um, all right, so I did that, and then, and then I thought, well, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to create a still, I'm going to add, like, an old country hook in there, um, but I'm going to just play some improv um, with the Telecaster. So I went through and laid rhythms. So I got drums, I did a pass on the piano. So here's, like, drums and piano. Let me play that. So listen how empty this actually is. So here we go. fills so you hear how I was just diamonding the chords that happens through the whole song maybe some light rhythm and really staying out of the way and that's something I can't stress and then I did have fills it was my turn or I chose it to be my turn on the piano in that first verse so you can hear those fills my left hand still just diamonding chords and then sometimes not even doing that just playing the lick because there's a rhythm guitar there all right so then after that I went through and recorded two acoustic guitar passes of strumming and that kind of sounds like this yeah and i'll say something about that i'm just going to talk through each instrument um you know it's and you're under a microscope when you're um when you're recording See if I can find a pick here. Yeah. And uh, this is in the QV flat, so I played it in D shape with the tape on the first fret. And there's a lot of stuff live that you might not do that you, you, it glares at you and you find out it wasn't a good idea um, that you get away with live. And all you think, well, it's not that big of a deal, I got away with it. Yeah, but getting away with it, you'd be surprised how clean and how much better as a whole the music gets if you would do it right in person. So, something like... Um, and then it'd be easy to stay kind of on that D or do something else. we maybe go to A. But to stay with the chords, I mean... So I went... It was one, five, five over seven, sorry, one, five, six minor, so I'm playing that B minor shape with cape one, five over seven, so A with a to one, so I went. It, it, all that stuff makes a difference, so it's. <laughs> Alright, next we go to four there. So that's all I did, but I did it twice and I panned them completely left and right for some stereo. And that's all I did for the acoustic guitar. So, um, and then I, I did uh, the electric. I went through and I did a whole uh, like palm you thing. Let me see. Let me grab this. Um, so let me play 
this pass here. I'm going to mute the other electrics for right now and then see if you can hear this. This is high quality here. So actually, I, I can't pull the electric on this just because I got... Okay, so basically, the intro on the chorus is I went... And I have... I have um, um, an overdrive on. I got two on, super light. I think I did that. So I got a compression pedal on, lightly. I got really light drive on the Nobles. And then I got a little bit of the Wampler Tumnus, which is like a Klon style, really light. So it's like two of them. I think I did the, maybe I just did the, yeah. Either way, light, somewhat light overdrive. And a little bit of spring reverb from my Ocean's Eleven down here. Um, here, let me see. Um, I will hit some video of this with my phone. Maybe I'll upload it there so as you can see so there is the compression here's an overdrive this overdrive hits next um, I probably had a slap back on the delay and then a little bit of spring reverb yeah so one like slap back probably yeah all right that's a little bit more than what good enough. Um, but basically I hit chords. Bass note. And when I got to the uh, verse, I went. Oh, I did do a quarter note delay on this. So. Um, let the verses go, you know, really light. And then when I got to the chorus, I went back to just diamond chord. And I had the support to turn it on the chart, but I just did that. So I did one pass, it's kind of like, it's just rhythm, and that's the part. So I would do the palm mute on the... And I would do that on the verse. So let me, I, I'll play the intro again. You can hear what's going on. Here we go. So, in the Here's what it sounds like in the mix uh, without the lead guitars. Actually, I forgot um, the the bass. I went through and played that, um, and they asked for some walking bass lines, which this I, I took what I could, but there's not just a ton. You don't want to just overplay, but I did um, do some maybe a little bit more like old school walking. Some spots I normally would. Okay, so I did that, and then I decided I was gonna lay lead down. So I the intro is one. To five, to one, four, one. Day. So the one and five, I decided I was going to go. Actually, I gotta play it. <laughs> I don't remember here. Let me see. I'm gonna play it. Let me play. It. So it's... This is a little out of tune, but... So basically what I did there was... Let me see if I can get this in. Um, so we're in E flat, so I'm thinking that position right there. And I'm thinking about 
right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this on the um, sixth fret. I'm gonna go. But I'm gonna hold this fifth down there. So instead of going, I'm gonna bend it a full step up. So it's like I did that, but I bend it. And I'm gonna hit this at the same time. Hit that again, and then bend it back, let it go back down. And come back down here on the fourth fret, that E flat right there. Because I'm picturing this right here and this. Alright, and then go, and then right here is the B flat. So I'm picturing that, but I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna take this note and get it up to that. So I'm gonna hold this with the pinky and go. I'm gonna start with the high one, go low. All right. So I'm bending that up to make this chord. And then I'm gonna go and hit the flat seven. I'm gonna let go of this. All right, so that's up here on the uh, fourth fret at the capo. Let me take the capo off because it's messing with my brain. I'm thinking different frets. And then back down. And then I'm gonna, why after I go, all one time, so. So. All right, and then I'm right there to hit this E flat all down there. So I got. So. All right, now here is the band lick. Uh, so that whole thing again. And <laughs> I didn't play it real good, but you get the idea. Here's what it sounds like when I did play it good. <laughs> for this. All right, so here's the part that I do, and I knew there was gonna be like several things playing it. So then we go four to, so it's A flat back to E flat, so I go. So I'm going to this A flat note on that A flat right there, it's the four chord, and I'm going, pulling off two from the fourth to the third fret. And then going down here, and going sixth fret on the B string down to uh, the fourth fret. Whew, the fourth fret on the B string. And go on the G string, third to fifth. And then back down to third. And that's the band lick, because I do it later on. I do it an octave lower. I think I do it on the piano too, so that's kind of the, the band lick. and then you're into the song. So that's also the interlude, and then I do it down here. So, all right, so I'll just play the octave lower. Here, so I'll play that. I'll play just the guitar so you can hear that. Here we go. So I hit some chords, sounds like I did a drop thing. Um, so I would be like. But I did it in drop D with the capo on there. So I was able to hit some lower voicings there. But that's basically what I did there. Um, and then I added some piano licks. And then from there, you know, this is a rough mix. Um, they said they wanted steel guitar, so I'm gonna send it out. I don't play steel guitar. Um, I could kind of do some fake um, steel guitar, maybe, if I did. Um, uh, let's see. If I, if I use my volume pedal and bend, maybe. Yeah, 
I'm not real good at that. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, as you can tell, not real great at that, nor they wanted still guitar, so I'm sending it out uh, to my dear friend and great player, um, Jared Easter. Um, actually, not got to spend a whole lot of time in person with him, but we've thrown some things back and forth and talked on the phone. Great musician, good guy. Um, Jared, we need to hang more. Um, maybe we'll play some live stuff. Get out of the studio every now and then. I'll play the. I'll play it one more time through the verse, and then you know that's pretty much it. I chart and then I lay those downs, and I'm gonna send it out for that, and then I'm gonna come back and mix. I got some presets set right here, but for the most part, that is how it sounds. Let's try it again.